All right, guys, how we doing? Welcome back to yet another video. Today we look at Dexter Lawrence. It's a name I haven't seen before. Defensive tackle for the Giants, probably because the Giants haven't really had too much success in recent years. But he does come in at number 28 on the list of the top 100 players in 2023. Dexter Lawrence. Firstly, we're going to look at his Wikipedia page, get a bit of a, a bit of an, a bit of an idea on who the guy is, what makes him tick, and then we're going to watch the video, and then we're going to place him in a rugby team. And that's not going to be hard. <laughs> Have a look at the guy. Let's get into it. Dexter Lawrence is 25 years of age, born November 12th, 1997, 6 foot 4 and 342 pounds. That's 155 kgs. That is the heaviest player we've seen thus far. Have a look at him. Big boy, isn't he? Wowee. Um, that's that's pretty much that's that's incredible. Runs a 5.05 second 40 yard dash, which is absolutely crazy. T to think he's got a motor that picks up and goes a, a, a body that weighs 155 kg that fast, crosses the 40 yard dash line in 5.05 seconds. That would have been something to behold. 36. I've probably watched it actually. 36 reps on the bench press. That's the highest we've seen thus far. And I'm glad. I'm glad. You know, he's got a bit of weight to throw around. He, he, and he most likely does. And in this case, he threw up and down 36 times. Unbelievable. Right. Played college football at Clemson from 16 to 18. Got picked up in the first round of the 2019 draft, the pick number 17, to the Giants. He's been there ever since. Made his first Pro Bowl and second team All-Pro selection last year in 2022. So it seems as if he's come into his own. And actually... Speaking of his 40-yard dash, he injured his left leg during his attempt at the 40-yard dash, which is not good. The Giants originally acquired the selection as part of the trade that sent Odell Beckham Jr. to the Cleveland Browns. May 4th, 2023, Lawrence signed a four-year extension with the Giants, so they clearly like what he's doing. Four years, $90 million. Well, let's just sit back and see if any person any player in any position that Dexter Lawrence is coming up against can actually move him because if they do I'll eat my hat don't keep looking over here I'm still here don't keep looking I'm not going nowhere hey five six you gonna take me out you give me more hugs than my girlfriend give me oh he's got jokes talk a little junk Mr. F he's got jokes Number 28, he must have done some crazy shit. I mean, at the end of the day, to, to come from not even on the list to, to getting on, you know, players' radars that much to come in at number 28. Let's see. Sexy Dexy. Sexy Dex. Yeah, so that's, that's, what, that's what he... And why not? Dexter Lawrence has all the moves. Okay. So what's he done in that in that uh, instance? What has he done? Has he got sacks? Who knows? Let's look up his stats. I mean, he most likely has, right? Just just a bulldozer, literally a bulldozer out there. 2022, he got seven and a half sacks as a defensive tackle. 35 solo tackles, two force fumbles, 28 QB hits. You don't want someone 155 kg hitting the QB. You're going to do every single thing in your power to try and stop that, but it seems they couldn't. He did it at least 1.5 times per game. Just like that. Oh, fuck. No. No. Look, the guy who he dominated. Look at this. Number 62. He knows he's fucked up. He knows he's fucked up big time. He's looking at his quarterback just having had his leg trapped under a body that weighs 155 kg. He's, his job is on the line right now. His job is on the line right now. He doesn't, he's not going to give sexy Dexy any time of day. He, he, is, he is worried. He is worried. And I don't blame him. What was that? Hip What's that? Oh, you like that? You like that one? You know, just... A swagger that I kind oh, of, you is. know, carry out there, you know, with my dancing antics and, um, you know, just the fun I'm having, the trash talking. You better call the cavalry. You better call all of them. It's all about having fun, isn't You're it? You're going to need them. 
These guys are just. He's not just blowing hot air. He's blowing just. by offensive line. Beasts. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> A relentless monster and uh, a relentless monster uh and getting to know him off the field he's a big old goofy crazy funny dude my favorite young defense alignment right now is dexter lawrence out of new york what a stud he has the dance he plays with power he's leading his team as a oh my god oh my god Okay, he got a QB hit, but he took his offensive tackle for a ride as well. I think that um, the future is bright for him. Under pressure, Ellinger's gonna get sacked by Sexy Dexy Lawrence. He took two players down at once. You know, consistency and showing that I can dominate the guy in front of me on a play-to-play -play basis. And Dexter's just a, a huge body that can still move and shift and bend at a really high level. <laughs> that Pilates be getting me right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> He's obviously always always been a great run stopper, but I feel like his game's developed uh, pass rush wise. Heineke takes the snap. He's back to throw. He's under pressure and he's going to get sacked. And he just bull rushes this guy right back into Aaron Rodgers' lap. Under pressure, sack. Dexter Lawrence again. Sexy, Dexy. He's taking advantage of his opportunities. Can you imagine the talk that is generated Dexter, from a guy like Lawrence, again. right? Grabbing your hips dropping to the ground and twisting you Dexy, Dexy. he's taking advantage of his if you don't get injured in that play i mean you're lucky he's in, they got him in that two eye now finally you know he's capturing shoulders he's rushing edges and he's a big old dude dexter big as hell it's an interesting spot that dude big as hell <laughs> oh shit i mean if you can get one play where you dominate the guy it's just not going to happen is it domination against dt Sexy Dexy is just not be rushing him though. It's not the most conventional spot. Usually, every other spot on the defense line is on the edge of offense line. And this time, you're hang on, I gotta listen to this. It's hell. It's an interesting spot to be rushing him though. It's not the most conventional spot. Usually, every other spot on the defense line is on the edge of offense line. And this time, you're on the edge, but you're to the inside edge. It's a weird spot to be rushing. There. So you really—he's just got the brute power and strength to. It doesn't matter doesn't matter if he's on the inside or outside or it really doesn't matter where he is you're not going to try and get around guys you're going to go through them you got to be able to work both sides of him be able to rip outside or club outside and get outside or also be able to take that inside gap and getting the sack is dexter lawrence the pro bowler just watching him this year can you imagine 150 kilos landing on top of you? Kind of fully, you know, come into that and it's something have I've the never success that he's been working for. It's been awesome to see. I do aspire to be on there. Um, you know, just shows like the respect you earn around the league. It's just pretty cool. I'm trying to get there as fast as I can, coach. Ah, uh, what a way to finish it! What a way to finish it! Fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. Either way, Dexter Lawrence, there he is. Where is he going to play on a rugby team? That's the final piece of the puzzle. Final part of the video. Six foot four, 342 pounds. I see a guy six foot four and I think he's just that little bit tall, that little bit too tall to be playing prop either side of the hooker at the front of the scrum. But we're going to have to put him in at prop. We have to. 155 kg. His opposite man is going to be, you know, 120 tops. You know, speaking of... Speaking of uh, genetic, genetically blessed humans who can move whilst still carrying that type of weight, they don't play rugby. They play American football. And the one that's closest to that was Jordan Mailata. 150 kg, he was, no doubt. Six foot eight. And unfortunately for us in the rugby world, he was poached early on. And I don't blame them. Because that type of size and speed and weight... It's just too much for rugby. It really is. It's, they're, they're unstoppable. Can you imagine Dexter Lawrence with the ball in hand, running, trying to break tackles? No one's going to tackle him. And that's exactly what we saw with Jordan Mailata. Unfortunately, he's an offensive tackle. He's not a running back. You know, I'd love nothing more than to line Dexter Lawrence up at running back five yards out. Why the fuck not? No one's going to stop him. But that's not the way that football works. Either way... I'm going to put him in at prop. He's going to be a dynamic prop. He's going to be the big he's going to be the heaviest player on the field. And if you don't have that player in the front row of a scrum ready to dominate, you're wasting it. 
So I'm going to put him in at prop. There's really nothing else I need to say. He loves a tackle. He's going to have to, you know, take people to ground, but also get up um, at will. And I, I haven't really seen him have to get up off of the ground too much. Um, there's a lot of that in rugby. So that m might be something he needs to work on. I don't know. But at this stage, who really cares? Because it's never going to happen. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope that was a bit of fun. And I'll see you in the next one.